Hello and welcome back to Coffee Cup Moments. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Rebecca and um, yeah, I just want to apologise for how long it's taken me to do the, this latest video. Um, my in-laws have been over from the UK, which has been amazing, but it's meant that um, I've decided to spend time with them, as I'm sure you can appreciate. But today I actually want to go through with you a verse that God put on my heart again today and actually a vision or um, a picture that he gave to me a few months ago. Um, so the, the verse that I want to share with you is actually from John 8 34 and it says, I tell you the truth, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. You know in Romans 3 23 it says for all fall short of the glory of God and so what this verse is actually saying is that everyone who sins, which is basically every single person apart from God, um, is a slave to sin. And so what I want to talk to you about is actually the, the vision that God gave me. And that's where actually I decided to write my book, Life's Greatest Battles, because um, it doesn't matter who I speak to or where I go, you know, there are still so many of us that struggle with um, not only sin, but, you know, the strongholds in our life. And God gave me a picture of um, that we are boxed in life. And so um, it, the picture was is that every single person was this cardboard box. And I know that's random, but just bear with me. And it was basically that he was saying is that we all walk around and we have other people's expectations of us, um, even our own expectations of us and that means that we are restricted within those that size of that box that we've allowed our life to become and so um, you know when we go into a relationship with God you know that box is actually you know destroyed you know the veil if you like is torn and so we're actually able to enter into a relationship with God and that means that actually we're no longer a slave to sin the difference is actually realizing that and this is where like life's greatest battles came from, because actually there are still so many Christians that are slave to sin or the strongholds because they don't realize that, you know, the truth when you find it, that it sets you free. Um, and that is Jesus. You know, Jesus does set us free. But it's that realization in our soul that means that actually that we stop walking around in these boxes and we stop actually letting other people control our lives. Um, but the interesting thing was is that actually when um, I seen people breaking free from the box, what was actually re revealed to me was actually that we then walked around in spiritual chains. So although we're no longer confined to what you know people determine that we should think or feel or how we act actually the chains around us is what actually stops us from finding true freedom and that is because you know although we think that we are free when we become a christian that we've um you know we've our old self has died if you like and we are reborn in christ but the chains around us the invisible chains if you like or the ones that satan has around us the strongholds they are still there and until we actually start to release them and actually let go of what you know has happened in the past or the things that hold us back and actually walk in true freedom which is the freedom found in Christ and who our identity is in him, then that is when, um, you know, that we still find that things, we are still reactive, that we still do things like our old self did before we were a Christian. And so I want to encourage you today, you know, even though we may have broken out of the box with expectations that people have had um, from us, are we actually still walking around with chains? You know, are we still um, being controlled by the strongholds or the fears or, you know, whatever it is that um, stopped us from walking in true freedom? Are we still actually doing that? And so today, you know, if you want to become free of that, then I encourage you to go to God in prayer. Ask him to reveal to you what it is that you're still struggling with. What is it that's still deep within you that still has a hold over your life? Because when you find true freedom, freedom my friends there is nothing like it that we can actually it just feels like you're walking on air and I'm not saying that I'm perfect I'm not saying that there is anyone perfect on this earth apart from obviously when Jesus comes again but actually you know when God starts to direct our lives and when we start to press into him we will find that there are still things that we are chained to and that is what God actually wants us to find true freedom so then in uh, John 8 
um, 32, it says, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So I hope that you're blessed by this today. I hope it gives you food for thought. I have a cup of coffee, so please feel free to drink yours as you listen to this. But um, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so then when I do upload a video, you will hear about it. Um, follow me on all social media platforms. If you have a question, please feel free to ask it um, in the comments below. And I cannot wait to see you here again next week. Take care.